G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine, and I'm excited to be able to show you over a new CJ490 uh, Ranger Sport. Uh, this boat has some really cool fit out, and that's why I'm taking the time to take this video. Now, this 490 Ranger Sport is powered with the maximum 90 horsepower Yamaha outboard. Uh, that is the maximum for this boat, and you may see that the mounting of this outboard is slightly different to some of the Ranger Sports videos I've done in the past. That's because this customer has factory upgraded uh, to a half pod configuration. Now what that half pod configuration does for you is it gives you two extra large steps. It places the outboard extended from the hull, so pushing the outboard back, giving you more room, not interfered by the tilt of the motor. It also fills in the transom. So in front of this pod, you find the high back, so it's a filled in section across the, the back of this outboard. And, and that new design with this half pod also allows for a permanent fixed deluxe CJ baitboard to be mounted over the top of the outboard. So that's a pretty cool bit of kit. We are getting some good inquiry on that and we have been fitting a few in, in the recent months. Um, again, from the factory, it's called the CJ half pod and the option there is the deluxe CJ baitboard and that's new to CJ as well. Good bit of kit, knife holders, rod holders, drink holders, removable insert as a cutting board surface. That's, that's a good bit of gear. Uh, as you see, uh, the ladder fitted to the uh, extra large pod here makes boarding easy. It's angled back, good step treads, makes it very easy to walk up the back of this transom. Uh, while I'm standing here and we're looking at the outside of the boat, I just want to point out a couple other features. And, and that is the uh, CJ factory camo wrap. Uh, and that camo wrap has been popular. Uh, it looks fantastic on the water. Uh, and these vinyl wraps really, really do set them off. You'll also notice under the hull, we have, um, the customers upgraded the heavy duty tandem axle trailer from Redco. Now, he's also upgraded to a C-channel frame. The C-channel frame allows for uh, direct cleaning access uh, with fresh water after the boat's been used in salt water. So being able to hose all through here uh, enables no salt to be trapped because you have direct access to rinse that trailer down properly. Uh, you'll also notice this is part of the RS uh, Redco range. Uh, it's been optioned with a spare wheel and carrier. It comes standard with a, a walkway down the trailer. It's got metal guards because it's the heavy duty upgrade. Uh, it's got the uh, tandem axle. It's got load share, load share springs. I think you'll find also we're looking here at the, the uh, 14 inch light truck tires. Uh, so all in all, it's a, it's a good bit of kit. Um, anyway, let's have a look at some of the inside of this boat. This is some pretty cool stuff fitted to this boat as well, uh, internally. I'm just going to step over here, we'll have a look here. Now all ranges are fit standard with alloy rod holders. Uh, built tough, just like the rest of this boat. Um, we've got the standard Ranger Sports side console here. And you'll notice there's plenty of room. This is a Garmin uh, 9 inch. 95 SV uh, touch chart plotter sound of combo. We've got the Yamaha um, 6Y8 gauges, which include the fuel management system fitted standard. And we've also got a, a flush mount VHF uh, radio in this console. So all the electronics easily accessible on the right hand side uh, of the boat. These boats, are, uh, uh, this boat uh, has also been upgraded to the deluxe CJ seat. Uh, these deluxe seats, uh, they are folding but they offer a lot more padding, uh, good good uh, side support. You actually feel really positive when sitting in the seats. These customers are also optioned for the third seat, uh, again, direct from factory. Another thing we've got here uh, is the raised canvas uh, uh, bimini. Now, raised canvas is, is, is our made up at Caboolture. Does a fantastic job on bimini's. You're nice and taut. They're like a, a, a drum skin. Um, in regards to the bows, there are there are four bow bimini top with a horizontal bar. That enables for no no straps or interference at the back of the boat for fishing. Uh, it's a stand under height. Uh, I stand here at 180 centimeters, uh, and my hat's not touching. That's what I like in a boat. Uh, when we get raised bimini's built for you, we can get those made to your height if you wish to stand under them. Okay. Uh, have another look inside this boat, some of the uh, options that this client has elected to take from the factory. And that's the um, welded floors, but carpeted over. 
So instead of the, uh, the uh, agriculturalness or the roughness of the checker plate, which some people uh, don't quite like, this boat's been uh, fully carpeted uh, inside along the floor. Uh, this boat's also had the uh, factory pipeline grey inside only paint, which sets off uh, the aesthetics of the internal boat. Um, other little features you may see or may observe, uh, we've got an anchor well, hinged anchor well cover uh, over the front of the boat here. Um, that's just an option that uh, enables that anchor area to be uh, protected, uh, but I suppose also gives you a little bit of access. We don't recommend standing on this, so we do not recommend standing on this. Uh, I, I suppose for different reasons, uh, you could place product on there, uh, but it's not something that I'd recommend standing on. You'll also see that uh, this boat's been fitted with the uh, electric motor. The electric motor's also been supplied and fitted with the um, Minn Kota, uh stabiliser bar. That just takes out a lot of the um, movement in the uh, electric motor uh, shaft uh, when on the water or on the car. Um, just having a look, if there's anything else in this boat we, we may not have showcased before. Um, I'm just going to open up this hatch. As I said, it's the oversized hatch on these. Oh, look at that. So here, here's something worth noting. This, this boat has been optioned by the factory with two gas struts. So let's just watch that again. So when we open that up, that lid will take itself to the up position and hold position. Great news about this, that saves this lid falling on my hand or my fingers or my head if I'm getting gear out. Uh, look, I'm sure it's um, uh, an option not everybody's thought about. Uh, I'm sure at some point they could be retrofitted, so it gives maybe, maybe gives you an idea if you've got a, a range of sport. Um, other things I note in here, we've got a factory deck wash fitted. So we'll just have a look under here. Factory deck wash fitted, full re recall hose. Um, we've obviously got the 24 volt battery system uh, for the encoder. And by the looks, with that cord hanging down there, we have an onboard um, battery charger. So it's worth opening this hatch, a lot of gear in there. Um, probably the thing I like the most are these gas struts. Um, keep an eye on them. Uh, if you've got a range of sports in order, maybe uh, give, the, give the boys a ring, get a price. Um, or as I said, um, possible retrofits, uh, something that we'd recommend you seek out your, your local fabricator and have a chat to them about. Um, what else we got here? Oh, one other thing I noticed, sorry. <coughs> We've also got uh, Railblazer G-hooks mounted here. Uh, the good thing about G-hooks is they can hold things such as gaffs, nets, and also rods. Um, we've got three G-hooks um, up, up the side, which allow for either three rods, three, three gaffs, three nets, uh, whatever you'd like uh, mounted. So look, um, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thanks for watching the video. If there's any questions you have about any of this gear, be sure to give uh, either Glenn, Troy, Cliff, or myself a call at the dealership. We'll be more than happy to help you. Other than that, check out our website uh, and, and keep watching these videos, please. Cheers.